hello, <clears throat> beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, welcome to the channel. Um, I just want to start the video by saying a huge, huge thank you to Emma Colors 2020 for mentioning me in her start small video um, because I've had quite a few new followers. So welcome to you and thank you to Emma. So this is part three of my colour and chat <clears throat> in a myth mythographic odyssey and we are working on the fate the fates. Okay, the three fates. Um and I have done a little bit more since I was last on screen, but nothing major and nothing too exciting if I'm being honest. So you can't really see it's not showing it up on camera. It actually looks like I haven't done anything, but I've coloured all these rocks in <clears throat> and then if I just zoom you in, I have actually coloured, you can just tell if you look at the bird that that's white, that's uncoloured, but then I have done a very, very light grey. I think the lightest grey I've got in the Arties is on the buildings behind. I'm just going to add a light grey just to give that some definition and then had a little tiny bit of an no not even an accident because it wasn't really my fault but um I think it was this no it was let me just see it was this one it was cool grey eight um the brush nib was just it just went super super wet um and it just blobbed ink out but I mean, I'm not bothered. I think I've got a colour for the hair. I'm just going to colour over them. I have added in, I was undecided. I'm just going to zoom back out again. What to do with this sort of swath of fabric. I don't know if that's a word. I think I've just made it up. But this red fabric, I do need to pencil this. But I'm not going to do that on camera because I did the whole dress. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So not going to put you through that um i have added you might notice it looks quite white but this basically here on the bottom of the picture where the pool is and the water's coming up i'm gathering this here is like floating water globules i've no idea but i know where i'm going with it anyway i bought this um Molotov, 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 I don't know. Um, I think it's Molotov. Liquid chrome mirror effect pen. So at the minute it's looking white because I have my ring light on and it's reflecting the light back. But if I do this, you can see that it is a very high shine silver. So let's just get straight into it. <clears throat> um, I've zoomed in. I might just zoom in a little bit more because I'm going to tackle all of this hair. And I have got, <clears throat> again, I'm going to marker it. This whole page is just going to be based in marker. And then I'm going to pencil over the top. And I've still not done the flowers because I forgot all about them. But I've got um, Latte Brown. Arteza Everblend. I'm going to use the brush, I think. Um, hopefully this does cover that grey um i've gone brown heard gone brown on them i didn't know what i was going to do so i've literally just grabbed the first thing that come to mind this whole page i'm not going to lie is not remotely planned um well i'd say it's not remotely planned it is because i googled images of the fate and they in quite a few videos wore yellow red and blue so that's what i've gone with i don't think i've got them in the right order but i'm fully taking creative license so i'm hoping this dries a little bit lighter it's a lovely brown lovely brown i'm hoping it's going to go over this big grey splodge. If not, I'm going to pencil it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, 
I know this thread is going to be gold. Um, might get the Calero out. I'm sure I've got a gold. In fact, I've got some really bright colours, so I might not even do it gold now. Might change my mind. Um, but I am filming on a Monday evening, which is very unusual for me because I'm normally on the couch chilling. Um, but I thought, you know what? I've just got back from my sister's. I've been to see my nephew. It was his birthday yesterday. Um, but I didn't manage to get round there. So I went after work tonight. Um, got in. <clears throat> and I've literally just had my tea. Uh, and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to come up. Basically, I had really, 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 really sore knees yesterday. I don't know why. Um, I have got dodgy knees. But I've never really been in pain like I was yesterday. Um, so I, I come upstairs last night after I'd ironed my stuff and just did... Well, I'm, I wanted to try and get everything done on this, like the in-between bit, so that I could jump back on today. So I managed to get some of it done, not all of it, because I just couldn't sit here. But I'm feeling good today, feeling okay. Um, so I thought I'd treat myself to a spot of colouring. Um, and then from my part two video, I have some questions. So I do love the questions, guys. It gives me something to talk about and I don't really need to think about it. Well... I need to think about what I'm going to answer, but I don't need to think about what I'm going to talk about. I'm assuming this here is like, it's not her and it's part of the cloth, which I assume that is. That's the only thing I want to say about these pitch, these pages that are absolutely stunning and I love them, but whoa, you need to concentrate. Like I'm going to say that's not her, that's part of her blindfold. Um, so, we'll start off the colour and chat with answering your questions. So I've got the first question from my pal Sam. Probably going to cause me a little bit of stress because Sam has asked, what three albums would I listen to whilst I am colouring? Um... Tend to, if so if I'm just sat downstairs and I'm on my own <clears throat> and I'm not watching anything on telly, I will tend to put the radio on. Um, but if I was going to put an album on and I had to pick three, it would be a Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Just a beast of an album, an absolute beast. Um, it would be I've not listened to this for absolutely ages, so I'm probably going to get the name of it wrong. But Hot Fuzz by The Killers, one of my absolute all time favorite albums. Like, I will never get bored of it ever um and do you know what, what what else and i i listened to it the other day and had it on for absolutely hours and i think i was coloring because i don't i wouldn't have been working because i don't I'd, I'd i don't sit at the time dining room table to work i'd just get on the couch with my laptop um but like whitney's greatest hits I love a bit of Whitney Houston. So 
Oh, they, they're probably like my three. But I could go on. I could jet, like, I love music. I absolutely love it. So I could, I could go on and on and on. I could, I could go, I could pick hundreds of albums. Um, yeah, just love it. Love music. Um, so thanks, Sam. Great question. And nowhere near as stressful as, I'm just going a bit out of shot there, so let me just move along. Um, that's because I was just chatting away. So this is looking a bit ropey at the minute, but it's fine because we're going to go over in pencil anyway. Um, nowhere near as stressful as picking three books and three art supplies to take with me on a desert island. Um, okay, next question is from the lovely Emma from Emma Colours. And it's how long have I been colouring? So I am actually re reaching my one year colouring anniversary and I'm not gonna lie like it was only today that I was thinking about it and I thought I'm quite not shocked because I genuinely genuinely love colouring in which I'd never thought I would but I do um one I'm shocked that a year has gone by And also that I've like stuck to it, not stuck to it because <clears throat> like nobody is obviously forcing me to do it. But you know when you start something and you think, yeah, I enjoy it. Probably do it for a couple of months maybe probably get bored of it or won't have time to do it when I'm back in school and everything's crazy busy and making a mess of this. Um, so thin. Less strands of hair are so, so thin. Um, but I've really kind of made a habit of it. Like a good habit. Like if I get up super early of a weekend... I will just instantly put the TV on, grab a colouring book, and just like have an hour, get a coffee, and just spend an hour. Like colouring, I genuinely, genuinely love it. So I had a look back through my Instagram when Emma asked me this question because I knew, I knew it was coming up. But my first. Um, first colouring post actually went on my Instagram on the 1st of <clears throat> November. So I think if I remember, uh, which was that horrendous, horrendous rhino. I don't know what possessed me, but I had fun. Um, from what I remember, that took me a week. So, 1st of November. It's so maybe like the 20th summit of October, probably I've been colouring from. So, not long. Um, but the thought of having a channel never entertained me at all. Until like much later on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just a bit like a bit croaky. Um. So yeah, I have been colouring for coming up to just a year, which is mental, mental. Loved every minute of it. And learn so much and learning so much all the time. Like learning what I like, what I don't like. It's just 
it's just so good. And I do feel like I've got more creative, which sounds daft, but like when I first started, obviously looking at that rhino, just to put every colour I had on the page. Whereas now I feel like I can look at a page and almost see the colours emerging, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm going to make this her, her. So yeah, I feel like I've got more creative as time goes by. I feel like I've still got a long, long way to go. But I am in no rush because I feel that this is going to be a... I'm just going to do this where I think on. Um, put a pencil in. Um, I do feel like this is going to be definitely a long, long standing hobby. I'm just going to put some pencil on her shoulder because I will forget to mark a penny and I'm just going to do her finger just slightly out of shot that I forgot to do the other day. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, crazy. But my Instagram is a lot older than that. My actual Instagram account is much older than that because um, I've been doing calligraphy probably two years on top of that, maybe. So thanks, Emma, for that question. Emma asked three questions. So next question is, what is my favourite picture? This is difficult because if you'll notice from my completed pages video, I change my mind all the time. However, I think my favourite page has now been... I think my favourite page ever I've created this month. Now, do we think this is her that wraps around her ear? It's got to be, hasn't it? I'm just not sure what or where her blindfold fabric is. Is it that? No, that's her. That's her. Hmm. Now that's her. Mm. Right, let's just get colouring. Is that it? It's my picture. It's my page. Um. Okay, so favourite picture, I think, was, what did I say last month? My Rita Berman double spread. I think it was my Rita Berman summer double spread. It was the first double page I've done. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was the page actually that I kind of fell in love with my ink tents for the first time and was like, I love these pencils. Um, but I have to say, I think that it has been overtaken by a page I've done this month. Um, and I've actually got it here. So let me zoom it out. You will see it in our completed pages video. You have seen it on my Instagram, I am pretty sure. But I've got it the only purely by accident. I just grabbed my pencils when I was <coughs> running up to film. And it is Tales from the Forest Kingdom. We've got a whip in here, so I'm not going to show you that. But I am going to show you this. I am obsessed with him everything about him so the background is black acrylic with gold acrylic ink the mirror type thing has got galaxy glitter on it this is the first time using light fast and actually liking the way it's come out I just love everything about it. I love it. So that is possibly my favourite picture. And I did sort of turn it into a double spread. But I'll show you that more. Sorry, I'm whacking the gooseneck again. I will show you that more in my completed video page. I'm just going to make you all seasick. So give me a minute. 
So I'll show you that in completed pages for September at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, I think that has become my absolute favourite. I think I need to be a bit more braver with like my shadows and whack a deep colour on there. But while I'm still learning, I feel like that's the best skin I've ever done. Um, I'm well impressed with the hair. So yeah, I think that's my favourite picture, Em. And then a favourite illustrator. Oh, this is from Emma as well. This is really hard, really, really hard. Because I absolutely adore Hannah Carlson. Like, I adore every page she does, every book. But do you know what I think I'm going to have to go with? I'm going to have to say Kirby. And I'm going to tell you why. So, as you all know, the first book that I bought was Millie Morata's Beautiful Beasts. Brilliant Beasts. I think it's Brilliant Beasts. It's the compilation one. Um, because I couldn't decide what to get. Sorry, my stomach's just rumbled. Um, because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. <clears throat> just going to make this a hair here. Um... But then my first book then, well, my second book even, um, and I literally bought it probably a week later, so I've been calling for a week, was Mythomorphia. Because I do love anything, like, myth-related. Um, and I'll be honest, I'd seen Kirby's books for absolutely ages because when I was at uni, I just had a little Saturday job. Well, technically Sunday job because I just worked Sundays and sometimes in the week when I was needed um, in WH Smith's. And I just used to, like when I'd be tidying up, I'd see like a Kirby book on the shelf and stand and have a look at it and think oh my god these pages are amazing but still at that point coloring in didn't entertain me didn't think it was for me but could fully appreciate his art and i love like how different they are so you've got the big mythical pages and obviously can't wait for april for his mis mystic mythic mystic world i can't remember what it's called um but that is going to be right up my street. Um, but then I also love Fragile World, which is so, which is like based in realism, and it's about it, it's creating an awareness, isn't it, about the world that we live in, and <clears throat> you know the threats that the animals are feeling. Or facing even, not feeling it, not feeling a threat. Right, I need to find a kind of dirty cloth colour because these are, so what I wanted to do is these are obviously beautiful, beautiful goddess women. But I wanted them to have like a bit of a grunginess to them. Um, You know, like a, just a bit of like bit of juxt juxtaposition. That'll do. So I've got, what have I got here? Oatmeal brown. Let's zoom back in because I completely forgot to zoom in. And I'm just going to colour in their little blindfolds. And then we'll, again, add in some. I'm hoping this is going to dry much lighter because it's very similar to the hair colour. Which was not my plan. Um, I'm going to add some pencil again. Just to darken it. But hopefully it dries a little bit lighter. Normally it does, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, and I thank you very much for all your questions. Mm-hmm. 
missed somehow I'm, I am rubbish at these pages because we keep missing things left right and centre and I haven't even finished adding pencil onto the skin because that's literally how much pain I was in last night I just was like nope 20 minutes done So all of these little bits, I will catch up on. Her ears sticking out there, so I'm just going to... This pencil is actually the exact same colour as the marker, so trying to shade with it is totally pointless. So I may have to revisit um, my skin with another pencil, and if I do, I will update you with what I have gone for. This looks like bandage. Now, to be honest, I'm probably not going to do much with like these bandagey bits that are sort of wafting off. Um, just seeing some hair. What the colour did they just say? Latte brown, wasn't it? <coughs> I am loving these markers, like apart from that grey one, which I might email them about just because it was a bit random. I wasn't even pressing hard on it. Um, and it was, I could literally see the ink like almost dripping down the nib. And I don't think I was doing anything wrong. But other than that, I absolutely love them, like I love them. And they're on offer, who doesn't love a bargain just touching up bits there was somewhere else that I've missed I'm just going to make that her because it looks nice and I think that that is the her done and all that's left really is this water and I'm not going to lie I don't know what colour to do oh, I think I do know what colour to do it I think I'm going to use, I think it's in this tropical set maybe, I think it's pomelo green. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is base the whole, I just might as well just get the, get all the marker down on nine and we can do what we want to do then. So I'm going to use this pomelo green. And I'm going to colour all of the water in, all of it. I'm not being lazy, I will tell you my my plan now. So I'm going to colour all of the water in this green. Then I'm going to go over with another colour, I don't know what, like a darker green, all this slight, with pencil, all of this vegetation. I'm going to colour over all of this water because I'm going to use the chrome pen so that the it's almost rising up and then it just ties into this super shiny splash across here so this is quite a big space so i'm scared that i'm going to make it streaky so i'm going to try and work as fast as i can right i tell you what let's just start in the corner oh, i keep ripping these so i've already ripped the title cover the title page off because the perforated i just keep forgetting and I am mega heavy handed. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make this water green. Because I can. I think it just ties in quite nicely with the leaves. Like the leaves currently look a bit random because. Like we're obviously, well, I've kind of made it look a bit like space with these planets. I need to call that moon in. Um, I don't know what colour. But this is quite a light green when it dries. So that 
fingers crossed, I should be able to use any colour, but I'm thinking kind of like dark turquoise colours. Now, I don't know what this is. Some kind of crystal ball. So I'm going to leave that for now because I might... But I need to come over here a little bit. I might um, just gold it out. So I'm going to gold out all the objects. Just to make life easier. And I'm just kind of learning kind of like my own style on these pages. I've never coloured one before. I don't really know. I'm going to go over that thread as well. Is that reflected or is it part of it? No, it's part of it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go over it. Because I'm probably going to paint that. Oh, I want a super shiny gold pen, but Emma's give me a, a suggestion that I might get. So I'm just going to work quite quickly back into... I want to use a water medium actually just to see what this page is like. What this paper's like, sorry, page is like. <clears throat> Can't speak today. I've been like this all day as well. So it's all, oh, I've gone on the wall. Mm, doesn't matter. It's because I was concentrating so much. I'm going to go over that with the dark grey. Um, so I, in my last video I was saying I was watching Fort Salem. I finished series one last night, so when I've done this, um, I'm only filming for an hour tonight, just because it's late and I want to have a shower and a shave. I'm looking a bit stubbly. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna watch. I have a hot chocolate, I think, and watch the first episode of series two because I finished series one last night and it was brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Oh, and I've been watching, I think I did tell you this as well, but we watched episode two yesterday um, on Disney Plus Y, the letter Y, the last man. It's so good. I can't wait to see like kind of where it's going, what's happened. Like, I hope you find out what's happened. But basically, all the men in the world die, and it's just women left apart from one man. But you don't know where it's what like why. You don't know if it's kind of like a contagion or like a bio weapon. You don't really know yet. So I'm intrigued to find out what that's all about. Um, but yeah, we're really enjoying that. That's really good. And I watched, I caught up with <clears throat> my American Horror Stories. Can't remember, did I, I don't think I watched that before in my last video, did I? Don't think I did. Um, really enjoyed that one. That was really good. That was about a, I've just coloured completely off screen. Sorry guys, completely forgot I was filming. That was about a film, like a um a cursed film. Sort of sent everybody a bit mad. Enjoyed it. It was good. It was good. I'm just currently looking for um and I'm gonna do this this time and not guess because I ended up with exactly the same colour. So I've just put a line of the latte brown on 
and I'm just using some, that's quite nice. It's very similar, but it should. I don't know if it's going dark at all because I do want quite a contrast. Um, I could use that and use the umbra over it. It's just a bit of an effort for. for the darker brown um we'll start adding some shadow to this hair um what I was talking about oh yeah so american horror story so that one i'm just gonna sharpen this i've got a really good point as well so i apologize i've not sharpened um and i'm back on with the corridor just because they're out on my desk so we might as well carry on um yeah, that was really good. That was what a cursed film that kind of made everyone go a bit crazy when they watched it. Um, I'm enjoying this series, but I'm really excited to watch the new one, Double Feature. So this is like an anthology series, so it's like different. It's, well, the first two episodes were the same story, but then it it looks like it's different episodes, uh, different stories each week, now, which I quite like. Um, oh, snapped it again. So heavy handed. I just can't help it. Um, right, we're going to put some. Shadow here and just go until I'm, until basically <laughs> there's no colour. I had a good, good weekend, obviously, apart from the knee pain, which was quite annoying um, yesterday. But I had quite a nice weekend to relax. Did anyone do anything interesting? Did anyone do any colouring? Let me know. I'd love to know. Um, I did sit down last night actually and I have started to plan out my September pages. So if anybody would like me to do a little shop my stash video, then please comment and let me know and I will because I've got um, two buddy colours already lined up, which I'm looking forward to. I am going to try might not work it might not be a, a brilliant idea but i'm going to give it a go um i'm going to give it a go i'm just gonna get my drink <clears throat> i'm going to try and colour for the whole month of october just spooky pages. I'm just going to colour spooky pages. Um, I hope I don't get incredibly bored incredibly quickly or I'll be devastated, but I doubt it. I've got a few ideas. Um, we've got a scavenger hunt running on the colouring squad on facebook so i'll get some pages for that done um but yeah obviously if you fancy a buddy colour give me a shout i love a buddy colour because it makes me actually do it um, I'm working on one now at the minute, which I will probably, depending on the time, I will probably work on that before bed, but I might not. I might save that until tomorrow. So there's no rhyme or reason to this, I'm just... <laughs> adding this darker brown. Honestly, anywhere. Um, I 
just to add a bit of depth and try and hide the dodgy marker in. It's not the neatest. But I'm hoping that this page, it is a very busy one. I'm hoping when I have like brought it all together, it won't actually matter. But her hair looks better already and I'm all I'm, and I'm just literally just throwing in like these darker bits just randomly really. So yeah, if you want me to do a little, basically what am I going to be colouring in September, then please let me know in the comments and I will get that filmed sharpish because September is around the corner and it will also like make me accountable. So I will, I will actually do them and <coughs> it's half term in October. October the 15th, I break up for two weeks so I can get my filming on, I can get some pages done. Very excited. <sighs> so I've got my warmer on next to me again. I just keep getting wafts of this wax and it's so good. I wish I knew what it was. <laughs> Borrow through the box away and I, I can't for the life of me remember what it is. So I'm just conscious of the time. That is what I'm going to do with the rest of the hair. I don't want to do it now because you'll be bored watching me colour brown. So I'm going to leave that pencil out so that I don't forget. <sighs> I've left my swatch book downstairs so we're just going to have to wing it. So I want a, I think I want this one, which is da, 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 bluish green. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's a really good colour. So let me see if I can bring this up here. Um, and I want to add, oh, it's quite blue. Maybe not the colour I wanted. I mean, I like it, I really like it, but that's a bit better, maybe. I'm thinking if it was underwater, would it all sort of take this greeny tinge anyway? So I'm now thinking the blue was a bit random and a bit out there so we'll stick with this green i'm not doing i'm genuinely not doing anything fancy i'm just i'm basically just block coloring just on these um now they are underwater so i probably should have done a more muted color but it doesn't really matter because I'll show you what I'm going to do in a minute with the chrome. I don't want it to be too long a video, you see. Well, it's going to be an hour. And I'm just some doing some harder bits, pressing like more pressure, so the darker, some lighter bits. 
It's quite difficult to see what, I'm not going to lie, what anything is. So I'm just going to lay the colour down, I think. And then I have got a darker green here. So I'm thinking, do I just add in a bit of dark green? It needs a sharpen, I think. I can't remember what I use these for. Oh, maybe I never. That looks a bit better. I'm going to sharpen it. So I bought these. I did buy these second hand actually. From eBay. They're brand new. Um, they were practically brand new. So. That's why. So they were already sharpened. But I've not. Some of them hadn't been sharpened, you know, when they've got that, like, dusty, almost, like, coating. They had that on them. Um, but I haven't sharpened them all. I'm just going to colour over those bubbles because they are going to be silver. Just laying this colour down now. Slot it. All over. We'll add some dark green in a minute. I think the next part we'll probably get this finished. It could be like a bit of a gel penny. Gel pen finish. Possibly. Um Because I'll finish these bits on camera, uh, off camera. Um, I might. I'm thinking of doing a colour along. So if anybody has any book suggestions for a colour along, then please pop them in the comments, and I'll have a I'll have a look what's most popular, and we'll do a colour along. I will let you know what pencils we're using what page we're going to do i'll be basically more organized and have like the color combinations and stuff ready so if anybody wants to do that then please let me know i'm i'm determined to film more content for you guys and actually i feel like i'm getting into the rhythm now Like I actually want to. <clears throat> so I'm going to, just because we're coming up to like 50 minutes and I don't really want to go past the hour. I'm going to just add in some of this green now, just random. Just again, just to add that. But hopefully you can see what I mean. So it's grey, it's green, and then we've just got the underwater foliage plant. I have no idea. Um, like almost the same colour as the water, just darker. That was that's what I was that was the idea in my head. Whether I'm Pulling it off. I've no idea. No idea. But I'm going with it. And to be honest, it's these bits are so small anyway. 
in the grand scheme of things. Probably not even going to look at them. So I don't really want to do, I'm not going to spend absolutely ages on him. Because this is not the main point of the picture. The main focus of the picture is definitely these three stunning but obviously incredibly dangerous ladies. Um, but you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And I'm thinking I might actually just want to wire think on. I think while I think on. I just want to see if this um this yeah it does. Mm, it's kind of changed it in the same colour as the hair, but mind i'm just adding like some darker bits to this fabric and that's the oh no that's the natural sienna so have i used the wrong pencil i don't know um but you, you know just to add almost as if the fabric's folded over it's a bit dirty Maybe I should have gone with like a grey or something, but I'll learn. So that's what I'll use for those. But it does make a difference. You can see like it does make quite a bit of difference. Just adding that tiny bit of pencil on top of that marker. I just to add something to it and then I'll yes yeah, so I think the next part we'll tackle the need to tackle this stone where actually let me see if I've got a grey here because then if I find the colour I can no, I think it was a cool but in fact right let's see I've got a cool grey but I'm quite now this one hasn't been sharpened <clears throat> this is like the scattiest all over the show colour and chart ever isn't it because I'm like right I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that but if I just get colours on slightly different if I just if I know where I'm going and what colours I'm using all this can be done and then the last part of the colour and chart for this page can be, I've done it again, oh god I get on my own nerves, um, can be gel pens and can be paints and we can just have a little bit of fun and like try and bring the page to life with a bit of bling but I'm just going to work around all these rocks I think with this cool grey just shading just shading so it is Monday evening. I'm probably not going to post this until tomorrow. Um, in fact, I will, yeah, I might post it tonight and just leave it. No, I'll do it tomorrow. I was going to say I'll do it and then just leave it sort of uploading, but I won't. I'll do it tomorrow because then I can edit and do like my little thumbnail and stuff and not tonight
But all I'm going to do is where this line at is already showing me that it's darker. I'm just going to go over with this pencil, which is the Cool Bright. Um, so I'll do that. So I've got my hair colour, I've got my rock colour, I've got my water plant colours. And then I'll just show you what my plan is while we are still here before I end the video. But I'm just going to, I might order a thinner pen because this is quite thick, but it'll be quite good for these bits. I'm just going to paint, not paint, but colour in this sort of gravity defying water. And then colour in these pools. It can be like I don't know what it is. Maybe the th maybe the um, weaving this into the thread. Maybe that's my story. But I'm definitely going to order the one millimetre one because it's quite. I would definitely say single sided pages only for these pens as well because they leave like quite a greasy mark but I'm just going, going to, that's still drying, but all of these like reflections on the water I'm going to do with this and these bubbles, oh they're not even bubbles but like, well I suppose they are bubbles aren't they, just to add that almost magical touch. And who doesn't just absolutely love a bit blink? A bit of blink. So you can see there now that that is like fully like metallic shiny mirror almost. I mean I can't see my face in it but it's super 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 shiny. <clears throat> but I'll do all that and then it should kind of Trapped. And then we just need to deal with these. Now, I was thinking actually, let me just grab a Jelly Roll Gold Metallic. And then what I was going to do is just literally. Pull them in. Like that. So what else have we got on here? We've got, I've got quite a few of these keys, I've noticed. There's one in the water down there. So... I'm just going to... Colour over that like that. <clears throat> Might have all of there. No, I'm not going to whiten them out because I can't be bothered. Um, another key up here. I should probably stop this because I always smudge it. And also I will thoroughly... Like spread, <laughs> spread the um, like the metallic stuff all over the place. I'm gonna just go over her necklace as well. I know she's te it's technically not a hidden item. Maybe it is, but I'm just gonna colour it in.
And that is how I am going to tackle these tiny little objects. I am going to colour her scissors in gold because these are the scissors that I use to snip the thread of feet. And I'll also colour in the jewellery. And you can see she's going to snip that, so unlucky. someone but yeah so that's how i'm going to tackle that so when you join me next time i will hopefully have done the water the rocks <clears throat> i'll probably do all of the gold gel pen because you've seen me do it now so it's just going to be more of that and then we'll tackle this building temple thing um Oh, let me just zoom out so you can see. Ignore the mess. So I'm going to tackle the temple thing behind and then we will tackle this thread of fate. And we'll pick some kind of metallic paint, I think. And we'll have a lovely sort of metallic-y fantasy page done. Hopefully before the end of the month so I can include it in my September completed pages. Right, I'm going to stop there. Thank you so, so much to every single person who has subscribed so far. Thank you to everybody who's sent me a comment. Thank you to everybody who's liked any video. I fully, fully appreciate it. I will catch you all in the next video. That will hopefully be pretty soon. Um, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.